Hey guys, it's lesson 24 and I'm excited about this one. Can you tell? All right, in the hope book. Oh, I hope you're taking notes for this one, folks. Lesson 24 in the miracle book. I do not perceive my own best interest. Okay, that was lame. Let me try that again. I do not perceive my best interest. I do not perceive my best interest. Let's find out why. In no situation that arises do you realize the outcome that would make you happy. Therefore, you have no guide to appropriate action and no way of judging the result. What you do is determined by your perception of the situation, and that perception is wrong. It is in oh, I hate this word. It is, I haven't gotten to be friends with this word. Let me rephrase that. It is inevitable, 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 I N E V I T A B L E, inevitable. <laughs> then that you will not serve your own best interest because if you're coming from a sense of perception, then you're wrong. <laughs> so you, you can't have the best outcome based on that. So I'm gonna reread that so we can catch up. In no situation that arises, do you realize the outcome that would make you happy? Therefore, you have no guide to appropriate action and no way of judging the result. What you do is determined by your perception of the situation and that perception is wrong yet there there yet they are your only goal in any situation which is correctly perceived otherwise you will not recognize what they are did that confuse you let me reread it this is vital shit right here in no situation that arises do you realize the outcome that would make you happy Therefore, you have no guide to appropriate action and no way of judging the results. What you do is determined by your perception of the situation, and that perception is wrong. It is that word. Then, that you will not serve your own best interests. That word means uh, that it's bound to occur. There's no other option. You will hit that, that standstill. It is a, a definite outcome that you will not serve your best interests coming off of your perception. Do we get it? Yet, they are your only goal in any situation which is correctly perceived. Your only goal in a, in a situation that's correctly perceived is your best interest. Otherwise, you will not recognize what they are. Yet, they are, th yet they are your only goal in any situation which is collect correctly perceived. Otherwise, you will not recognize what they are. Oh, we got so much work to do, and we are only on lesson 24 of 365 days. Mm. If you believe that you do not perceive your own best interest, you could be taught what they are. <sighs> Does that send a chill down your spine? I'm gonna, it should. And I'm gonna let you hear it again. Really hear this sentence. If you realize that you do not perceive your own best interest, you could be taught what they are. That means you have to let go of everything. Let go of your ego, let go of your ego, and be that blank slate, that empty cup, that open heart, and see things anew as they are right here, right now, in this moment, and make better choices. But in the presence of your conviction that you do know, that you do know what they are, you cannot learn. Everybody knows that from Shakespeare to the Bible. It's, it's, it's written in, in those important books that I've read that is pretty much if a fool is someone that can't be taught. And that's what this means. The idea for, okay, you, but in the presence of your conviction that you do, that you do know what they are, you cannot learn. You're stuck in a box. The idea for today is a step toward opening your mind so that learning can begin. Who? Yeah. The exercise for today requires much more honesty than you are accustomed to using. Don't let that get 
Don't let that get into your feelers. And don't go, eh. don't ignore this one. Please don't ignore this one. A few subjects honestly and carefully considered in each of the five practice periods, which should be undertaken today, will be more helpful than a more cursory examination of the larger number. Number, number ten, five times today. A few subjects honestly and carefully considered in each of the five practice periods, which, would, which should be undertaken today, will be more helpful than a more cursory examination of a large number. So in other words, really take your time with these five times. And instead of doing a one minute at a time, do it two minutes at a time. As it states in the following, two minutes are suggested for each of the mind searching periods, which the exercise involve. The practice period should begin with repeating today's idea. I do not perceive my own best interests. The practice periods should begin with a repeat, with repeating today's idea, followed by searching the mind with closed eyes for unresolved situations about which you are currently concerned. Ooh, concerned. The emphasis should be on uncovering the outcome that you want. What's your destination? How you gonna get there? What's up? You need a destination. You need to know what you want. Do you know what you want? You will quickly realize that you have a number of goals in mind as part of the desired outcome. Catch on to this. And also that these goals are in different levels and often conflict. Do you realize that a lot of the goals that you have, if you really stop and look at them, you're gonna go, shit. Not only are they heading in different directions, some of them straight up conflict. Something must be done about this <laughs> or it's not going to end well. In applying the idea for today, name each situation that occurs to you and then enumerate carefully as many goals as possible that you would like to be met in its resolution. There's no problems. There's only solutions. The form of each application should be roughly as follows. Quote, in the situation involving blank, I would like blank to happen and blank to happen. In the situation involving blank, I would like blank to happen and blank to happen. Numerate them as, often, as many as you need. And in doing so, in dare I say, writing it down. Yeah, that's what that tap means says in writing it down enumerating your goals in the situation that you are currently in you're gonna see oh, fuck that would never have worked out if I don't see what it is that I'm doing this is an incredible exercise today guys this is a blessing and so on try to cover as many different kinds of outcomes as may honestly occur to you now see this is easy for me because in my acting I did for 19 years on stage when we had four or five days of rehearsal a week or whatever this is what we were doing we were looking at a scene trying to make it dynamic trying to make it authentic trying to make it honest trying to make it make sense not just to the actors but to the whole of the show the scene the script and of course to the audience because if we didn't have that that what the hell we were doing was like masturbating on stage pretty much sorry that was a bit much you know what i mean you meant what i knew so in doing this type of exercise i reminded me of my acting that's kina that was a pit bull outside anyway he's tight it's okay she's fine um so in that sort of situation we had the joy of rehearsing different the, the same exact scene same exact words same exact actors but maybe different blocking different intent different desired results and it changes everything so that's what they're asking you to do here go into rehearsal with yourself look at, write a different script look how your actions and your perceptions uh, stay away from perceptions with your actions and with your intent what the desired result is the higher good for all involved oh so many doors and windows will fly open sisters and brothers so many and it will be so liberating let's see in these to try to cover as many different kinds of outcomes as may honestly occur to you 
it honestly occur to you. You, 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 you'll start doing a scene in your head and it'll just be ridiculous and you can have fun with it if you want, but it's ultimately, oh yeah, yeah, I'm gonna scratch that one off the possibilities list. Uh, related to the situation, okay, outcomes as many honestly occur to you, even if some of them do not appear to be directly related to the situation or even to be inherent in it at all. And that's also true of what I remember from rehearsal, especially when I was doing Shakespeare. I mean, that's such a completely different realm than what I was actually living in in today's date. But I was like, I would let, but what would I do today come into play some things? Now, I couldn't use it for the actual show in the sense of the attitude or the way I said it, more modern or whatever. But ultimately, it helped me unearth a different intent and it opened up a scene for me. So can this exercise do for you in your everyday life to me in my everyday life? This is fun shit. This takes a little bit of time. Time well worth it. This is meditation in action, in my opinion. Let's see, even to inherit it all. Okay, do not appear to, even if, even if some of them do not appear to be directly related to the situation or even to be inherit in it at all. If these exercises are done properly, you will quickly recognize that you are making a large number of demands of the situation, which have nothing to do with it. That's a boom mic drop moment right there. Don't you think? If these exercises are done properly, you will quickly recognize that you are making a large number of demands of the situations we have, which have nothing to do with it. It's a really adult thing to recognize that. And by adult, I mean emotionally intelligent to recognize that. It takes away drama. <laughs> it's the same. You, you will also recognize that many of your goals are contradictory. Very valuable information, y'all. How much more valuable can you get? That you have no unified outcome in mind. Do you have a unified outcome in mind to any of the situations you're finding yourself in? I don't always do. And when that happens, and we think we can both agree, stress and anxiety ensues. Does it not? And that you must ex ex experience disappointment in connection with some of your goals, however the situation turns out, as I just said. After covering the list of as many hoped-for goals as possible for each unresolved situation that crosses your mind, say to yourself the following. I do not perceive my own interests in this situation. And now you're aware of it because by doing this sort of exercises, you become, your awareness is opened up to it and you can look at it and go, oh. And then you can find the solution and get rid of the problem. So many solutions available. And go on to the next one. Okay, so tomorrow we'll do lesson 25. I'm going back to the hope book here. Oh, really? This is fun. The words for today in the hope book of day 22 here is intuitive flashes. Mm, I like this one. I haven't reread, haven't read this one yet, but we shall do so together now. Before you speak, it is necessary for you to listen for God speaks in the silence of your heart. Thank you, Mother Teresa, for that. Everyone has intuitive ability. And if anyone told you that your intuition was jacked, I'm telling you right here, right now, no, it's not. It may be out of tune and you may very well have to get to know it, acknowledge it, honor it, and get to actually befriend it and then continue to practice with it. Nourish it, love it, own it. Everyone has intuition. Everyone has intuitive ability. Some are more open and aware of this ability than others. Some people have a keen intuitive ability, which I hear comes with a heavy load, by the way. When you know what's going to happen in the midst of people that are asleep and don't have a clue what they're doing, why they're doing it, or even how they're doing it. Um, yeah, you can see how that would get heavy. Hey, Kina. They are the neutral. They have the natural intuition muscle, much like a natural born athlete. Intuitive flashes are those inspired ideas and amazing thoughts that seem to come out of nowhere. And I hear music with words. And I'm pausing that because 
That is no bueno. I thought I had classical music on. YouTube, forgive me. <laughs> I'm not restarting this. We're at 15 minutes. We're going to finish it. Pay attention to these flashes. Document them for your future use. Sometimes, okay, so where we were. Intuitive flashes are those inspired ideas and amazing thoughts that seem to come out of nowhere. Like if you're a poet or an artist, you know exactly of what we speak. But this is true of everyone. You just have to find out what those are. That inspired moment. <gasps> oh, idea. You can practically see the light bulb in top of your head. Often they answer a question you have been pondering. Or they shed light on any situation or event. I had a lot of these when I would do a lot of studying of the culture. When I was doing set design. And let's say that the culture was Japanese. Or the culture was, you know, Shakespearean, King Henry, England. You know, whatever it was. Denmark. Um, or it was just a country kitchen somewhere. I would do a lot of research into those uh, types of architecture and the type of time frame that they were, the culture was like at the time. With the, I would listen to the music of the era. So it's kind of like that. I know I got theater in the mind today. Um, and so that's what they're asking you to do here, uh, to recognize those moments and, and honor and honor them and recognize that they can be hounded. You can work out that muscle enough and trust that muscle and put enough intention into that muscle that uh, it'll become your way of being. Pay attention, okay, of often they answer questions you have been pondering or they shed light on any situation or event. As opposed to just staying in denial and trying to ignore things and hoping they go away. Pay attention to these flashes. Document them for your future use. Sometimes they flash in your consciousness for a future purpose. Hmm, that's where a journal comes in, isn't it? Personal reflections, perhaps. Another another way to title your journal for things, things like that. Trying to figure them out or otherwise analyze these flashes can be frustrating as they do not follow typical logical thought process. In other words, it's not going to be linear. If you get these flashes sometimes in dreams, say, just do a dream journal. Some of the, the dreams may make absolutely no sense whatsoever. But if you actually kept track of them, especially the ones that you didn't get at all, in three, six, eight, seven months, you might look back and just have your entire heart explode in awesomeness and you just be like, wow, universe, I get it now. Look at all the things we may not be looking at and documenting so that we could have our, our minds blown at recognizing how often the universe speaks to us and our angels are right beside us. However you look at it, however you see it, we're all one after all. I suggest noticing, observing, then documenting. And that's everything from saying 1111 or queen kidding says like on the sides of the road or people's license plates, you know, all those. Play with them. You might enjoy it. I suggest noticing, observing, then documenting and using the flashes of your betterment. Ooh, the flashes for your betterment. Often gratitude for your, uh, offer gratitude for your ability and gift. Now I'm going to underline that. When you get these connections, these coinkings, these, these uh, signs from the all, stop, laugh, smile, cry, do whatever, honor it, and just say, thank you for that. That was awesome. That makes me feel part of the whole. And I honor it. And I open myself up to receive more vital part of receiving this awareness to be grateful for it. Okay, we're almost done. By noticing these bright ideas that pop in, you will have solutions to challenges and questions in a more effortless manner. <laughs> and who doesn't want a life of more joy, grace, and glory? Where action leads to success, happiness, and excitement. Now, daily application. Take the time to document the intuitive flashes you have today. Use the inspired ideas for your highest good. For everyone's highest good. Save the ones that seem different for your uh, for your future. Ooh, I like that. Save the ones that seem different for your future. Because maybe your higher self knows something you haven't caught up to yet. Enjoy your ability to listen to the silence. Namaste. Love you guys.